saw the time lapse that I just did showing us go through the streets. This is the Phoenix Mountain Preserve. And it's just miles and miles of beautiful, pristine desert. Let me see if I can show you out the window here so we get a better view that you can see that you can hike, bike, ride horses. You'll see this is a trailhead right here. And there actually is another one. You'll see just that beautiful mountain. So many people love to go up in there and hike. This whole area just has some phenomenal views. I don't know if you can see the mountain views over there as well, but just phenomenal homes here as well. Um, it is a very, very desirable area and lots of des desert landscaping. Um, there's a lot of older homes that have been updated, but homes from the early 2000s and the you know, late 80s. I'm gonna show you the other trail here. We are on, I believe I'm on 39th Street right now. I'm sorry, this is not a professional video, but I wanna give you kind of an idea because I know when I was coming to Phoenix, I was sitting in Iowa trying to figure out what Phoenix was like. Um, so I'm hoping this will help somebody, but here's another um, access to the trail. Um, this goes into a feeder trail, which it's called Trail 100, and just over the top of this, you can connect with the feeder trail. So the nice thing about these little side, it's very private. People don't come and access those trails very often. They usually pick up the more public trail, like Trail 100, somewhere else, and you can have a feeder trail right off of your property or pretty darn close. We have two listings in this neighborhood right now. See, there's some mountain homes. And they, some of the builders have actually taken the horse properties and they have, you know, split the lots down and gotten permission and variances and things to do that and build multiple homes. But you still have a lot of natural desert. It's just phenomenal. Let me stop here and see if I can capture some of these views for you. You see all the saguaros and the rock, and there's even a house up there. So just absolutely gorgeous. A very, very desirable area. Um, I am gonna ha edit my video and we will go through some of the streets and I'll put it on the time lapse again so that you can kind of experience what the streets are like here. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching and make sure if you're thinking of listing, you check out our listing mini course where if you're looking to move to Phoenix, watch some of our other videos and you can always go to our buyer course as well. And we'll put the address across the bottom here. It's gophoenixrealestate.com. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Call us if you need to. mercury lighting and it's which is the real high-end lighting that they use for professional arenas it also has a laser leveled base with uh, sand footing for your horse and it's fenced with pipe rail they've got a nice little barn they've got a thousand a little over a thousand square foot shop um, it's fully fenced which this is really nice if you have dogs or you have other critters or kids and you want to make sure that they're safe on your property um, you can see this is fully fenced with a concrete block and then it's stuccoed and then it has the view fencing up front. She has some beautiful uh, desert landscaping. She is a photographer and she just loves going out there and looking at the beautiful flowers that these desert plants produce. Uh, it's an amazing property. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Um, the house is at just 20, roughly 2,500 square feet. Uh, this is the property next to them. Uh, it was built in the 70s, I believe. Might, have, might even be the 60s, I'm sorry. I'm pulling from memory here, so I don't remember that. And let me show you how close this one is to the mountain because if you like to hike or bike or you know ride horses, um, you're gonna see this one is super, super close to this, this trail here. Like the other trail, um, this one connects to a feeder trail and it is also trail 100 and you'll see like so there's one block um, 
some really stunning homes in this area. Which, let's see if this guy has a stop sign. No. But you see that mountain right there. You're, you're basically two blocks. You don't have a stop sign. <laughs> you're basically two blocks from the, the mountain. And this has got a really nice old trail if you like to trail ride with horses. Um, we actually sold this house up here on the right. Um, and it had a guest house. It was actually on the mountain. And so this whole area is amazing. It's got horse, you've got horse people. There's a lot of horse people for sure. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't have horses too. They just love this mountain living. So here is the trail uh, to the Phoenix Mountain Preserve and you can see that trail. It's a, it's a well-established trail. People definitely um, do walk, run. Don't see as many bikes. You'll see people that do do mountain bikes. Um, there's nothing electrical allowed, um, but look at that, those beautiful mountains and plants. Um, but you will notice that um, you see a lot of horseback riding up there and a lot of joggers, uh, especially in the winter. Right now it's summer, it's pretty hot here. So you have to be careful and be aware of, you know, drinking enough water and those types of things. This is a, just, I, just a phenomenal area. I just absolutely love this area. You'll see there's some really, really exceptional homes up here too. Um, people that want a bigger lot and not necessarily horse property. And some people have grass. You can certainly plant grass, but you're gonna be paying to water it. And as much as I love grass myself, it does, um, it is the desert and it is hard on the environment. And we have a shortage of water because we are in a drought, so. Anyway, these, here's some more of the streets. Um, you can see what we call Piestawa Peak, formerly known as Squaw Peak. They changed the name several years ago after a, a soldier that passed away and named Piestawa and to honor the Native Americans. So that's kind of a, a cool story if you want to look that up. I love Piestawa Peak. I lived right under it when I first moved here and it's just a really beautiful area for hiking, biking, um, just to go and have a picnic even if you don't even want to walk. Um, great area. So if you have any questions about real estate in the Phoenix area, call me. My name is Michelle Shelton. My number is 480-577-8272. And if you're thinking of buying, check out our free buyer workshop. If you're thinking of selling, check out our free seller workshop. Uh, you can go to gophoenix.com or you can click on the link here on the address um, is on this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe uh, so that you can learn more about any area in the Phoenix Metro um, because we go to all different communities and educate people on those areas. Whether it's horse property or single family home, we value the opportunity to earn your business. Thanks.